Like, yeah, like breakups are shit. Like, let's not have it. Let's not get it twisted. Like, breakups are shit. Whether you're famous, whether you, people feel like they own a bit of your relationship. Obviously, now being on Love Island and coming out to a big following um, in the public eye, and people are always commenting on whether you're doing the right thing or why you're doing that or you look stupid and things like that. In 2018, I was in a very, like I was in a very public relationship, had a massive split up. It was all crazy. There was like press, there was trolls. It was mad, and I felt like literally, what am I gonna do? My life's my life's just ruined now. Having a relationship breakdown in the public eye was one of the hardest things that I've personally ever gone through. Uh, it challenged me mentally, emotionally, even physically. It's between you and everyone else who's followed you on that journey, that Love Island journey, and people feel like they're entitled to, to know and to understand how you're feeling. You've got like social media and you've got like, there's, there's like a million in the, it, trolls in the world who make you feel like what you've done is like, Oh my God, you've literally, you've literally killed someone. It was about two weeks, I was just, I didn't leave my house. I was just thinking to myself, what are you going to do, Mars? Like, you've literally ruined your life. When me and Ellie decided to split, um, I felt I was the one at the full brunt of all the accusations and insults and things like that. If you, if you break up in, you know, just in your day-to-day -day life and you haven't got X amount of followers or people don't, you know, own a part of your relationship because they've watched it blossom, who asks about it? You know, your friends and your mum and your dad and close family members. Whereas, like, I walk down the street now and people go, oh, why are you still not because? Like, why is this going? I'm like, geez, like, just let me be. Negative people will, 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 will obviously always bring you down, but that's why it's always good to speak to the people who won't be negative towards you, to speak to the people that have positive energy for you. So your friends, your family, like, those are the people you need to speak to. You don't need to go on social media and be worrying about what those people are saying to you. I remember, like, I'm thinking, like, wow, we're going we're gonna to have to break up and then thinking, what is it? Instead of your first words, how do I feel? It was like, what's everyone going to say? Like, what's the press coverage going to be like? What are my boys going to say? What are all those people that, you know, when they've said like, oh, how's it going? And you're telling them, yeah, no, it's fine. It's good, it's good. And then a week later, you're like, no, we're not together anymore. It can be an amazing thing to know that people support you. But also, the hardest thing for me was never being able to avoid that person everywhere I turned. Everyone was messaging me things all of the time. If my, my ex-boyfriend would go to a bar and I'd, had five, I'd have five girls message me and say and tell me what he was up to and document what he was doing. For someone who's trying to process the end of a relationship, get over it and move on, having that still kind of feeding into your life when you don't necessarily want it is something that I don't think I'd necessarily have to go through if I wasn't in the public eye and my relationship wasn't formed in the way it was. I get really low lows and really high highs and I was um, publicly cheated on <laughs> and that made me mad. I think traumatic experiences like heartbreak and like moving away and stuff really stress me out. So that's when the anxiety happens and then anxiety I get all the time because I overthink all the time. I mean, <laughs> I'm just being human. I sat in my room for like two whole days just being like, what the f is gonna happen? Wes called me and just went, you'll be fine. And I because I just sat there in my own head and like kind of creating scenarios that just weren't gonna happen or that weren't likely to happen. So it took someone kind of who'd been through it just to say like, yo, you're gonna be fine.